Uh, Jack, uh, I think uh, I'm quite sure that they haven't seen your picture, but I saw it the other night. A picture he's made for Warner's about the United States Marines. And he is the drill instructor in it. It is one of the most moving pictures I've ever seen, Jack. I want to congratulate you on it. Thank you, Ed. You know, I was watching it at the uh, sneak preview the other night. I was thinking to myself, when did you first get interested in movies? Well, Ed, that goes way back to when I was a kid, about eight or nine years of age, and during the rather bad end of the 20s, 1929, during the Depression, I was raised by two women. So they used to send me to the movies while they did jobs cashiering or whatever they could get uh, mm -hmm. to see me through, and I spent my time in the motion picture theater around the corner to stay off the streets. And who were the two women? My mother and my grandmother. And they brought you up? They did indeed. So here, a broken home had no effect on bringing you up as a decent citizen. No, Ed, I'm sure you agree with me that I don't advocate a broken home for any child, but if there's enough affection in it, no matter where the home is or what the home is, the child will get there. I think you yeah. always ought to distinguish that. When they say a broken home, they should say it. this was a parted couple, but there was great affection left in the home for the youngster. Now, the last time I saw this young star was out on the Disney lot, out there with Walt Disney, I was, we were making the Disney story. <laughs> we ran into Jack on the lot who had been renting big floor space out there to make his drag nets. I said to Walt Disney, I said, do you know Jack Webb? And he said, no. What did you say? Well, it wasn't surprising, but I tried to remind him that I studied uh, commercial art as a boy in high school. So some 17 years ago, I sent Walt a folio of my cartoons. I am still waiting to hear. <laughs> Now, going back to the, Walt Disney said that day, he said, Jack, he said, you ought to be delighted we didn't accept you. He said, because now today you'd be animating television films for other people. He said, now you've got your own films. Uh, suppose we go back to those days when you were an art student. Will you do a picture of yourself as a Marine drill instructor? So you want to prove that uh, Walt was uh, right or no. something here, huh? No, well, I think the well. audience get a great kick out of it here. All right. I hold it for you. Here, we'll set art back 2,000 years right now. Well, this is the the campaign hat that they wear, the Marine Corps insignia, and the strap around the hat, and they have a couple of mm -hmm. dents in there. And uh, these fellows are, all you have to do is have a good loud voice and cut your hair as short as mine, and you can make the team at Paris Island. You're think, still uh, a good artist, eh, young fella. You're kidding, aren't you? Uh -huh. <laughs> necks are long because they have a heavy voice. They need all that breathing space. The necktie and, and so forth. That's it, roughly. How do you like it? <laughs> uh, Jack, your picture opens in Chicago on uh, Memorial Day. That's right, at the Chicago Theater. The yeah. Chicago Theater. Mm -hmm. And the United States Marines are so proud of it that Colonel Albert Creel is here, a four decorated with four battle stars. He has a citation from the Corps for you. Very Colonel, nice. this is Colonel Creel, one of the great Marine heroes here. Uh, Jack, on uh, behalf of the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Pate, I would like to present this to you this evening uh, because of your fine work in your recent movie, The D.I. You made an excellent drill sergeant. Well, thank you, sir. sir. Ladies and gentlemen, thank let's you, have a great big hand here for Jack Webb. Very nice. Colonel Stevens. Good luck to you in the picture. And thank you, Ed. While I won't be in Chicago on Wednesday, I'll be rooting for you. Thank Thursday. you, Ed. When so is it, Thursday? Memorial Thursday, Day? May 30th. Thursday. Well, I'll be playing golf. Thank you, Ed. Bye. Good night. Let's have a very nice hand for Jack Webb.